Hey, this is Spectacat. Uh, recently, they've moved a lot of the Expression 2 commands over to Gates, such as Apply Force, which is a very useful command. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to use that. First, we're going to spawn a light so we can see. Then we're going to want a PHX useful and explosive little tile block thingy. Or if you have the tiled blocks, it would be in rare sized, I believe. Okay, so we're going to start off with a, uh, a play force gate. Should be in the entity gates and a play force. There we go. Spawn that right there. Then we're going to need an entity marker. That will be in the wire detection tab. Alright, we're going to need something to apply force to. Uh, how about a horse? Horse. Perfect. Doesn't matter, it's my tutorial not yours. So right click on the entity marker and right click on the horse. Like so. Alright. Now we're going to need some more gates. In the entity gates look for position and we're going to also need subtraction. So go into the vector tab. Subtraction. Alright, usually you're going to need multiplication as well. So we're going to put that right there. Perfect. Alright, now you're going to want a GPS. This is where your horse is going to go. We'll put that right here. Alright, is it unfrozen? Good, good, good. That's going to hurt me. Hold on, let me put this over here. Against this wall, so it's going to look very creepy. Alright wire the position to the entity marker wire subtraction it's where you want it to go minus where it is now so you want it to go to the GPS and we want it to subtract from position like so alright since the horse is heavy we're probably going to need to multiply this so have constant value of 10 just put that right there Alright, wire A from the multiplication to the subtraction, and B goes to the constant value. Now for the apply force, wire entity to the entity marker, and then vec to your multiplication. Like that. Now you have a horse that moves in a somewhat possessed way. Alright can make all sorts of things like this like bots and uh attack and like minge devices which I would not encourage if you do make one don't tell them you listen to this tutorial all right um let me take this outside here's a quick tip for some people if you take out the ball socket advanced tool right here Check free movement and no collide and leave this all negative 180, 180, stuff like that. Just leave it all default. Click on the horse, then click on the we uh, the world. Then you'll get that no collide world that some of you downloaded from Gary's Mod org. There you go. So we'll just bring this through here. That's lovely. Let's have you face this way. Away from me. Alright. Ooh. Not shot. Alright, that's enough. Um, that's about it, so. Hey, uh, I need some tutorial ideas, so if you have any ideas and want me to make a tutorial, just please comment, and I will. Probably. I'm not sure. It has to be a good tutorial. Alright, that's about it. Good day, everybody.